and today we have an MG HS from the auction again with a question mark because it does not start this is a plug-in hybrid so it has also a combustion engine big question mark we run a diagnostic we found a problem that will prevent this from cranking but is it just that or is more into it where this engine has an internal problem mm, big question mark let's see what we have found when we run a scan on it this is a killer system so with the key inside the car ignition comes on but that's all that's about it nothing happens so um, all the instrument lights up but no cranking and no gear engaging so we run a scan there's only one error code and this could be our reason for this um, engine not to start and when connect this is ESCL electronic steering column lock now the electronic steering column lock module has an internal error on the motor inside so we have a new part so this is the electronic steering column lock and modern vehicle um, have those parts um, basically when the ignition is turned off this electronically um, lock the steering column so it's an anti-theft device now it happens like um, any devices that have motors eventually fail over time I mean it's strange what's the mileage on this car let me see let me see ah 52,000 52,000 so mm, reasonable high low anyway now this unit has to be connected and has to be programmed now a strange thing is that on other vehicles if the electronic steering column lock fails the ignition does not come on but on this one it comes on but nothing happens so what we're going to do now is replace the control unit program it and hopefully this engine will start and hopefully it's not going to be more to the story so the control unit is located on the column with two shredded bolts so this is the unit um, shredded bolts because it uh, is an anti-theft device so the, when the bolts are getting tight the head snaps off now what we're going to do we are going only connect the new unit and get it programmed the connector is a bit flimsy no we're gonna put a new part in here We're going to turn the ignition on. Now, we have connected our tool to program the um, control unit. We are exactly connected to electronic steering lock. And we're going to select the function of replacement. We should run. For the um, steering lock to have um, the vehicle data, it still says it's uh, the latest version. Now we are going to run the function is in parking, the vehicle is on and not in ready. So we have to make sure it's not in ready, which is not. so now uh, we'll actually transfer the VIN number of the vehicle into the ECU and with this function okay power is off we need to power off the ignition ignition on Okay, configuration is successful. So now the steering lock is paired with the vehicle. Ignition is on. <coughs> Another ignition cycle.
Начинаем зону. Okay, so the steering lock setup has been executed successful. Configuration and setup both successful. Now is the time to see whether we have anything coming out from that engine. I mean, it, it's, it's very strange. Has this car ended up to auction just because of a steering lock? So what we, uh -huh, see? What we're getting now? This is the steering lock. And I see. That's the way it operates, you see? When you lock the car, look, when you lock it. Do we have anything? Any door open? Apart from the bonnet? Why is that not locked? Okay, it is locked now. If we turn the ignition on, no, hold on, it's not locked. Can we lock the... No, no, actually, I want to start the car. <laughs> I want to see if it starts. So, let's see. Woo. We get anything or nothing? Oh, the engine starts. Oh, it sounds quite good, actually, the engine. Do we have gears? System ready. Oh, see? We have drive. Reverse. Good. That's good. It was just a hmm, just a steering lock. Just want to make sure that it operates. So what I'm going to do, we're gonna disconnect the cables. Sounds good actually. Quite nice. Very strange how you fail. I want to make sure the. So basically, when I'm gonna lock the car, this has to come out because that's the way the steering lock engages. Uh huh. See? And then when I lock it, but to release the steering lock, you have to press the start button. And it operates fine. And uh, I'm just gonna scan it again using but the only error code that we used to get on this lock you battery is full. That's good. The only error codes that we were getting on the car it was on the do, 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 do. It was on the steering lock. Let's run another scan. Oh. Let's see. Adaptive cruise control. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Invalidate I receive. Okay, well, this might be down to uh, radar calibration. Radar in the body control module. What is it? Lost communication range sensor light. Yeah. Okay, but it's nothing uh, serious. Oh, for me. Oh, for me. Okay, a bit um, audio system, but nothing really um, serious. The engine starts, uh, sound actually very good, and actually drives, goes in gear. Yeah. Steering lock works. So what is left to be done? We have to take off the the bolts from the old unit, replace the new unit. But this was actually quite a quick thing. Obviously, we've done some um, tests before, checking the wiring. We were, at this stage, we were certain the problem is the steering lock. And the programming went through quite quick. 
and we've got this MG running. I think this is a good result. The customer will definitely be happy because this auction purchase uh, so far looks like a good one. And this was the video from today with the MG that was not starting, it was coming from auction. If you like our videos, don't forget to press the button here or here, huh? subscribe and keep close for more videos from our workshop regarding electric cars and normal cars, repairs and car in general. See you next time.